and 18th of July on our Gregorian calendar, and the 4th of July, 4, 7, on the Julian calendar. There is 13 days difference. On the Julian calendar, 4, 7 is the 17th and 18th of July, which is the 9th of Av, the day of destruction.
Breaking news, we are getting last minute reports from all over the world of thousands of people that have just vanished. I repeat, thousands of people from all over the globe have disappeared. The total number of people who have disappeared has not yet been confirmed, but it is expected to be a lot higher than what was initially reported. According to authorities, the numbers are expected to be in the millions. Many flights have been cancelled because of security fears. According to reports, there have been plane crashes all over the world because some pilots simply disappeared mid-flight. Chaos has also spread to the roads where a great number of traffic accidents have been reported. Hospitals have not been able to cope with the number of patients coming in. Many parents are in complete despair as their children have also disappeared. Rumours are rife that this could be an alien attack and there are those who believe that Jesus raptured these thousands of people. Witnesses believe to have seen a bright flash followed by a huge thunderous sound and a being like a man in the clouds. Here are some images caught on CCTV cameras. The images you see now are from CCTV cameras all over the world. These images have been analysed by experts and they are genuine. CCTV footage from parks, shopping centres, parking lots, churches and traffic monitoring systems are indeed real and frightening. What has perhaps been most alarming is the report of a hospital where nurses have said in shock that all children just vanished. We are receiving images like these non-stop from all over the world. We are yet to hear from heads of state from all over the world who are in shock but have not yet released any statements. Our reporter from the US is live right now from the White House. Hello, Joe Bergson. Hi Christina, just like in the US, the UK, Japan and Canada, chaos has gripped the whole world with various tragic airplane accidents, but we cannot yet confirm the exact number of victims. Traffic is also at a standstill because of this phenomenon, with a record number of traffic jams. Trains are not running, the west side of Chicago, all the way to North Dakota, has no trains running at all. There have been countless 911 calls from all over the country. From Nebraska, New York, Arizona, Kansas, Florida, Ohio, Mississippi, Virginia, Texas, Washington, Utah, people are calling 911 from all over the country to the point of jamming the line. Many evangelical churches have not opened their doors today, but they have been invaded by regular members and have remained packed the whole day. Everyone is expecting some kind of statement from the government. But this is yet to happen. We'll report back with any information as it comes in. But for now, back to the studio. Our team tried to contact the leader of the Universal Church of the Kingdom of God for a comment, but he also has vanished together with his whole family. Many UCKGs remained closed today because a large number of their pastors have also disappeared. Those who were around did not accept being interviewed by our team. We also tried to speak to a former UCKG pastor who had opened his own church, but he also does not want to speak to us on the current events. Members of various churches are saying that this is the rapture of the church. When asked why they also hadn't disappeared, many cried and regret not having taken Jesus more seriously before. We are closing this news bulletin here, but we'll return with more news as and when it happens. <laughs>